Hi, it's Deborah Wayne, founder of the Biofield Healing Institute. And today I want to talk a little bit about a very important question, an issue, a concern from someone in my community who wrote in asking about food. And she was talking about how she's just thoroughly confused about what to eat. And she'll read something about being a vegan and something about being a paleo and following a paleo diet or a keto diet uh, or a vegetarian diet and, and just seeing and reading conflicting information about what's considered healthy eating. And she suffers from digestive issues and what she's been told are food allergies. So she doesn't know what to do. And believe me, I so identify with this, relate to this, and understand why she may be confused and why you may be confused about the same thing. For every study out there, there is something, another study that will absolutely tell you the exact opposite information. Now, I need to say I'm not a doctor and I'm not here to give medical advice or nutritional advice. However, I've worked with thousands of people with digestive issues and food issues and struggles with weight and yo-yo dieting and what food plan to follow and food sensitivities and on and on. And I've seen amazing results when they follow my advice to first of all, get to know your body, develop a relationship with your physical body because your answers are inside of you. And if you learn to truly tune in and listen to what your body's telling you, you can actually discover which foods will benefit you and which ones are on the no list. Now, the body changes every single day. It's not a one size fits all or a food plan for life. And if you get too rigid and controlling about it, that can cause problems of itself. If we listen, if we learn to go deeper and discover what brings us energy today, the body will tell us. Now, there are many factors that I've also discovered that contribute to whether food will digest properly or not, or agree with you or not. A lot of it has to do with emotions and your thinking mind. What, when you sit down to have a meal, even before you sit down to have the meal, when you prepare the meal, when you are cooking, when you're buying the food, when you're out picking food up, all of the things that go on mentally and emotionally are actually starting right there to affect how this food is going to assimilate and integrate and digest for you, whether it will be harmonious or disturbing to your system. It's not just when you're eating or what you're eating. So start to pay attention at a deeper level. What were you thinking about before the meal began as you prepared it? Or what are your beliefs, your ideas about the food that you're eating? When you sit down to have a meal and you look at your food, do you take a moment to just look at the beauty of the colors of the food and think about that this food is about to nourish you and all that went into this food showing up on your table? Do you take the time to appreciate the food you're about to ingest? Or do you worry and stress out and tense up, which is going to affect how you digest food, your nervous system, how you assimilate it, and whether it's harmonious or not? While you're eating, what kind of emotions are going on at the dinner table or at lunch or whenever you're, you're eating? Who are you with? How do you feel? What is going on in your mind? See, these are the deeper issues and the most important issues that are going to affect you and your health. Are you upset during a meal? Is, are the conversations argumentative or disturbing in some way? 
Do you feel your gut clenching as you eat? You'll never d digest food well if that is going on. Were you upset and angry before the meal even began? These are some of the issues that need to be looked at and really explored at a deeper level if you want to have harm harmony and really healthy digestion and be able to enjoy food and see it as a blessing and nourishment or if you're always going to be battling with food and weight and these issues. I've worked with so many clients who after we sat down and had a conversation like this and clients in my pain-free living program constantly talking about these issues and we talk about these deeper hidden reasons and I help them explore the mental and emotional and energetic I, uh, con things that are contributing to the painful problem that they're experiencing. All of this can be released, all of this can be changed, it can be harmonized. Sometimes it's as simple as learning how to breathe deeply and calm your body before you ingest the first bite. There's so many tools that I would love to share with you. A, a great place to start if you look at the link below and download my best-selling book, I'm gifting you this book. It's called Why Do I Still Hurt? Rapid Relief for Chronic Pain, Depression, Anxiety, and More. This will help you even if your issues are digestive in nature and you will get really good practical information and a deeper understanding of how to find your hidden reasons that may be contributing to your pain, patterns, problems, issues, whether it's your weight, your waistline, your wallet, or physical pain of some type or emotional pain. Click that link below and get started. Don't wait. You can start healing today. And many people from just reading the book will have all the lights go on and discover what's been plaguing them for years and then reach out to me and let me help you further if you would like more of my assistance. It would be a pleasure to add you to the list of success stories. So thanks so much for being here today and I look forward to hearing from you. Don't give up hope. There really are solutions. Click the link below and get started now.